So can can everyone see? I think it'd be easier if some people in the back like moved a little closer. Can you actually can everyone see okay? All right. So, uh, of course, we're doing uh, making copy the practice room. Uh, also, maybe we have a few minutes afterwards to ask questions too. So, be thinking. I was on the other way. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. In general, uh, I would say all the, the uh, rituals related to the, the tantra. So I would say, oh, must, you must have a veil and wear dry, right? Not necessarily this, what's called Kabbalah and the Damaruk scriptures, and not necessarily for all the tantra. Rituals such as bell and wager. And then the wait, uh, bell and the wager usually how to call It's a symbol like, you know, that, right? it's a symbol like for uh, methods and bell symbolized for uh, wisdom. The other side of the world, the Doji, the Yama, the Doji, 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 uh, so any ritual begins uh begins with the uh, holding vajra and bell and ends with the bell and uh, vajra symbolize the inseparable form of compassion and the wisdom oh. so yeah compassion refers to the method when we say method it refers to the compassion mm -hmm. so this represents the union of inseparable union of compassion and the wisdom so. So sometimes the uh, like uh, some ritual begins with the blessing for the bell and the wisdom, bell and the vajra. Yeah. So not all ritual has this uh, blessing part. So like uh, if you look at the uh, Rinpoche's uh, table, ritual table, the how it was arranged this the arrange is made in accordance with the uh, anayoga tantra uh, traditions so as i earlier mentioned like uh, 
if it's not Anna Yoga Tantra, you don't need all of those. But if it's Anna Yoga Tantra, then the like uh, uh, from the right hand side, which if you're right, so uh, goes with the the dam or the damarufas. Yeah. Then follows right to the left. It's a abdra damaru follows the bell. Then vajra. There. So some people get confused the placement. They because like a abdra damaru it's a bell. Then vajra, right? Some people like a switch the position because it's convenient. But rather is a meaning to like a bell and watcher because when you pick it's it falls to get cross. Cross symbolize the union. So then after the uh, Wajra next is uh, uh it's called inner offering. And there's a, the the vessel the it's it's a Kabbalah it's inside Kabbalah it's a inner offering and that's particularly exclusive to an yoga tantra. So, uh, the inner offering in the uh, the the substance for inner offering, either it could be a tea or wine. But according to a Gilupa tradition, which is ours. We prefer to put a, a tea than wine because wine doesn't 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 it why it looks odd for monastic community to have wine right so we prefer in a in our tradition we put the uh, tea. Let's see. So the most important thing is like uh, just uh, one should have a dujiribu. It's a pill, blessed pill. It's a particular blessed pill, and that dujiribu, that blessed pill, must have a, a, a authentic or source of lineage. So for the inner offering, the most important is inner offering, but irrespective of the container, what do you have? So the, the more, el more elaborated its container, it's, uh, it's, a, it's as, as it displays, as a Kabbalah, it's a more elaborated, but you don't have to have such a uh, vessel. Rather, you can simply have a plastic, a small bottle. Yeah, like, like this, this is mine, uh, a regular couple of yeah. yeah. So, like, uh, the most important thing is, like, uh, Rambuji has this, Rambuji got this uh, precious pilt, which has the desirable, which has, the, has a genuine, authentic source. Uh, so, you just, yeah, if you have to put, that's the most important thing, put it in that container and with the Tea. So the last is a uh, kadoro. Uh, it's a container where one can keep the, the grains, like it could be rice or some other grains. So then, if you have like a, a, a vase for the blessing vase, what a vase! So right now we don't have far away, but if you have, it goes followed from like a more far left is the ways, consecrated ways.
So this is uh, like a general presentation, so how, how one sets the, uh, those ritual objects. So for the two lower uh, Tantra classes, you don't need the uh, Damaru and inner offering. Yes. yes. So for the two lower classes, particularly like a uh, uh, action tantra, usually done uh, it's consecrated through waterways. Yes. So for the lower classes, if it's uh, consecrated through ways, then there's a particular ritual. Excuse me. First, one needs to uh, consecrate the water ways first. Then that after consecrated the water ways, it can do the blessings. In a similar way, for the uh, uh, like highest yoga tantra, and yoga tantra, so mostly it was blessed through the inner offering. Therefore, before the ritual, like a uh, actual ritual, uh, there is a earlier part, like a way. Uh, there's a part where it blessed the inner wa- inner offering first. So in order to do the blessing for the inner offerings, first of all, the one who bless needs to be generated into the uh, 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 a divine uh, deity. So therefore, there's this uh, in the ritual, it's called instantaneously arise oneself into the deity. So technically, like uh, the, uh, according with the text, the, the substance for the inner offering has to be five, uh, five, uh, five meats, five different meats with the five different um nectars so but in reality it means five meat refers to the five uh buddha family and the five nectars for nectars refers to the concert of the each of uh the five buddha families Yes. So, like when it becomes like in the right hand holds the uh, Vajra and left hand holds the bell. So, like uh, some rituals where it begins with the blessing, the bell, and the Vajra and the bell. But whereas here in this particular satna, uh, it doesn't have that part where it needs to be blessed the bell and the vajra. So, uh, like a, uh, in in general, so like a, usually, like a, when you hold the bell with your left hand and pause at your heart heart and then you ring the bell so somewhere in like a host at the far how to say a far left or at your knee position those ones should not do such thing like a technically it has to Close at your, close to your heart, then you gently uh, ring the bell. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, like, so it's, so due to like a physical uh, different part, like a variation, like as as comfortable as for you, just close uh, like a approximate it to your heart, okay? Then you just softly, gently like uh, ring the bell. <laughs> So you like you hold the bell with your thumb and the ring finger and the middle finger, right? So it, it will be like your hand posture will be similar to something like this, right? If you use those three. It's okay like this. But some people do like this. It's not, not the way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, you can do like this. This can hold it. And don't 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 hold it. But too much. Very gentle. Then then Damaru, right? So Damaru is supposed to be Damaru. Supposed to be whole with the regular and Damaru both, right? So beginning may be a little bit difficult. And when you use the Damaru, some people use like this, right? It says you cannot, uh, how to say, like a don't to like a swing your uh, wrist. Yeah. Rather use like a, the uh, first index finger and the thumb. So technically it says like uh, as if you are dumbing this bell at your navel, but like a, maybe like at first of all beginner you can just like a start somewhere around here, then gradually like a lower down like a, a approximate it to your like a navel like you put and it's wide navel it symbolize you are like a, uh, igniting the inner heat which locates approximate it to your navel <laughs> So when you do the uh, hand posture, hand posturing, hand posture, hand mudra, don't like a, don't swing both the arms, right? Yeah, so some people do like this. You cannot. It's not proper with the feet. So it's simple. Just how to? I, I don't know how to. Yeah. Just, just like a. No dance moves, yeah. so just like yeah. <laughs> in general, it's a little bit hard. In general, what, what they describe, we call the how to say, take or like after this. So, so it's like a uh, turning of a, a lotus. Yeah. So it's, it's this, this one called the pekor, right? Supposed to be, how to say, like a, this part goes to the book. Only like a, so supposedly you should move with the, your tip of the fingers, right? Yeah. Not the whole hand or whole wrist, right hand, yeah. rather a, like a tip yeah, of the fingers. Yeah, it's a little bit hard. So maybe some uh, you guys uh, have a very flexible finger, maybe possible. So in general, like like uh, the, how to say the pe pecor, right? Pecor, the pecor means how to call? Turning the, the lotus, lotus uh, posture, right? 
So this is like 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 this way. Yeah. It's kind of like a simply go down and come back. So that's called the pre This this posture uh, you have to use quite often before the actual mudra and after the mudra or something. Every ritual uh, you have to do this. So with the with the with raja and the how to say bell. So example like offering, right? So when we, we offer the example like a hara, some ayata re sapare wale argam pati type for right. So the beginning we do like how to say this. This outside. Yeah, snap. Then the this that posture. And then do the actual of uh, offering mudra. So agam mudra is like this, right? Yeah, it's just uh, example. Yeah. And then end is how to inside color. Yeah. yeah. So at the end, snap inside end. towards you, yeah. towards you. When you begin, snap outside. Yeah. Like outward. Be begin like this way. In, in this way. So it's a simple color. So the chubel hamo niga ne rangi niga ne chubel hamo ma chue ne ni chubel hamo chowa chue. So the symbolic meaning of like a snap outward, you are this ritual begins. You are you are visualizing that inner offering goddesses emanating. No, like a offering goddesses. Offering goddesses are emanating from your heart. They're coming from your heart. So you just like a, you snap out. Right? Yeah. So when when the offering is finished, you, you snap in back, right? So you are dissolving those offering goddesses that you have emanated. They're coming back to you. Yeah. So it has some symbolic meaning of like a planting the uh, dependent origination seed way down the road can ignite the middle channel, middle channel as the opening. So here uh, in our text, I mean, I use text, there's a, it begins with also like a first blessing the inner offerings. So for the and the measure there, I'm sorry, like a uh, yes, yeah, usually so, so, with the inner offering blessing for this ritual, yeah. So it doesn't have this one, like a uh. So, for example, for the Yamantaka, it has Yamantaka. So, a point here is some ritual begins with the blessing, the inner offering, such as the Yamantaka. So, for this, in such case, um, like uh, you just simply, if you have uh, such a container, Kapala, so you just like uh, opened it and put it on the side. Yeah, you place like this. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Uh, then you bless. Once your blessing is done, then in the follow up blessings, so like a way inner offering can bless the other. Uh, so use with the ring finger to be blessed so so she says that now like just we uh, first with 
yeah, it has, Ramaji says it has the, uh, our text, it has the uh, blessing, the inner offerings, like uh, first generating oneself into the deity, uh, first beginning with the refuge, refuge and the Padachita. Uh, then the mantra is the generating oneself into the deity. Uh, yeah, then it has the uh, follow with the uh, blessing the uh, inner offering. Yes. So up to like, I mean, uh, first, when you reach the point where you need to bless the uh, inner offering, then open the cap of the uh, kapala. Uh. No. Yes. So if you look at the page five, uh, at the um, at the uh, at the end, like almost end of the page five. Blessing the outer uh, offering. Yeah. That, so that mantra um agam ah um bade ah that not actually offering. Uh, uh, blessing for the offer. Offer or offering. Offering that. Right? No. Yes. So that times we have to do the mudra. Just no need to do the how to do that posture. Just do the agam, bade, ube. Okay, I will go slow. Okay, um agam ah um. This if you have a the bell shop that you have to uh, the use the bell. If you don't have a bell, you can get you can get to like Adam, Adi, Pude, Pude, Alunde, Dende, Smilde, Shata. It's kind of like that. You need to get into it. That's the case of Tambudi. We pay a penny money and see what it is. Most of the rituals, example, like a most of the almost like a 90% of the high yoga centers, the Agam Puri, those uh, models pretty much similar. So we should know Agam like this Agam, Pade, and Puri, Puri. It's kind of like a flower. And Puri is like an instant symbol. For instance, usually like something like this, like instance. You, some of you may see when we chop up some chicken to give you yeah. like video. No. So when we arrange the Samantha Bhatra offering, so like incense, we usually put in a cross. So it's a dupe, right? Dupe. So I'll give you the kind, kind of symbol of uh, water line. Yeah. Then Gente, Gente, they have like several different clothes. I think we should, which one to easily we can do it this way or this way. So usually I do like this. Then Gente is kind of like a photo of me. Then Shanta is like. Everybody get it? <laughs> okay. Can, can we try to do together? Okay. Um, Adam, Adam, Um, Bade, Um, Bede, Um, Bede, Um, Alo, Um, Yende, Um, Yende, Um, Shaka. It's pretty much the same. Lord tends to be but a little bit different. So I don't want to say, they might, <laughs> they may be confused. But 
it, 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 not, not big difference. Some, some, some of those difference that uh, allocate higher so that we do that and the lower so we do like this. So it's, it's a little bit different. You raise one, huh? No. I didn't know all out of offering to sub generation. That's the chopper period, right? No. The next one is out outer offering to the self generating that's the actual offering so that we need to do that with how to say snap out and then we do the how to call loaded poster like this this like a show what is the whole upper Example like Oma Abba and then the Aid and Atabari or the Arg and the Badi Trace. Oma Abba and then the Aid and Atabari or the Fog and the Badi Trace. So, good. Yeah, first, first need to learn that do the big Lotus posture. And you know this? It's very simple. Should not first this way. Always like this. Yeah. Snap. It's not necessary to snap uh, how to say very uh, how to loud. Get simple. Argon, right? Argon. Argon, right? Oh, how far and then the eyes and the body or the argon body size. So, so if you doing by yourself, they have time. We together like a monastery or something, you have to do very far. They, they decide to, to be hard, right? They, they say, yourself, you have time. Um, about a net, I read an assembly or a other company for this. I so um, about a net, I read an assembly or a party for this. I read so um, about a net, I read an assembly or a city for this. I read so um, about a net, I read an assembly or a city for this. I read so. So with the practice it will come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, you can, you guys can do uh, together once a while, you know, sit together, and I, I'm sure some people are better than others, and so people who learn faster, they can read and help others. Then, you know, often, right? You know, we, we already opened this one, right? So, um, apa remain the ayu jana sabari wale um, ah, for that you know, for uh, repetition. So, um, apa remain the ayu jana sabari wale um, ah. So, if you are able to touch the, the how to black tea or alcohol, can you able to touch that? Good, but it's not necessary to touch the uh, how to say black tea or alcohol. You just do the gesture. Yeah. So some you might seen or in future you might see some people do like this. Like a try to ring the bell, but um, all all of, uh, the most of how to say our lineage they didn't how to say they they they, they, they not try to get the, any sound from the bell just just like this yeah. and uh, this has to be offered how to say announceable no yeah. so offering in the space I am called Namju you 
çocuğu bakınca dedi Yigar Hesabeti Yola Şikar Orası'nın ahenkisi bulunur. There are some point where like a, when you offering uh, the inner offerings to the uh, like a different uh, like a objects of offering such as for your guru offering like a post from the crown of your head the meditation of deity from the, your forehead from the dharma protectors from the heart and the local spirit spirit then below your knees yeah so there are different positions that represents the different hier hierarchy of the offerings so those are like exclusive to more like a uh, extensive rituals corresponding to Yamantaga or Gui Samaja or Hiruko Chakrasambhava. So those, yeah, more uh, very extensive uh, like rituals. What do you want to do? Next oh. is the priests, right? No. Priests, uh, usually they have uh, one uh, worship, right? So they have a mudra too. So first line, we, how to say? We, we do like this, first line, this. And second line, we, we ring the bell. And third line, we do the death bell lotus posture. And fourth line, we do the, how to call it, bow, bow mudra. I don't know how, how to use it. What's called this one mudra? <laughs> child, child tell, right? yeah, prostrations, yeah. yeah. Prostration yeah. mudra. Yeah. So that quite often you see the prayers. So when they have a prostration or priest or something, first line you always use like this. Like this. This mudra is the general understanding is like a kind of like inviting. Yeah, when they have an invocation or something. In occasion of something, it's uh, doing mudra like this is the symbol. I think is a symbol of uh, burning incense. <laughs> and then second line, ring the bell. And third line, do the regular uh, posture. And fourth line, we do the prostration uh, mudra. So example like here, right? Amitayu, principal guide of the whole destroyer of all the unhealthy dead without exception, refuge of the those suffering without the protection to you, Buddha Amitayu, I cost it. Like Everybody get it, right? Eh? <laughs> and then it's the one that has a chimney. So, like a next fall with the recitation of mantra, you just put the bell and vajra on the table and you can have your uh, mala or rosary in your hand. Mm. Yes, sir. So here in the text, then followed up, then with the making dharma offerings. So before we make a dharma offerings, first we bless the dharma and then. Uh, how to bless the Thoma again with the inner offerings. Recite the mantra with the inner offerings and bless the Thoma. Tadi Thoma one fear the mage wo di shu geva ge. Om abare me da ay janas sabare war indam balim da kaka kaye kaye se dewa. No. So actual offerings like a uh, Thoma offerings so it's on the page uh, eight. Then Om. Like this, the mantra is the Om Aparani Ayu Jana Sabare Varai Etam Balinda Kakakai Kai Kai. 
so since since it's like this offering with the three times so again beginning with the uh, beginning with the uh, uh, like a lottery posturing and then make the offering and uh, uh, yeah then the snap in right snap in so you need to do this three times so, i mean we, like a sense like a, we we can go we we should do slowly once you get uh, once you get all those right then you can speed up huh? Let's say. So this the whole thing is the uh it's like a first you emanate the uh, offering goddesses and with those have the offering goddesses you make this uh, like a dharma offering with you make offer to Amitayus. After making uh offering then you just uh, all those offering goddesses dissolve back to you. So then follow with the uh, offerings. So same as before, like it's just uh, like emanating the uh, offering uh, goddesses. With them, you make the like the census offering corresponding with each of them at the end then you just snap in snap back in yeah the next again the inner offering then next again the free and then next again the So that's the end of the. <laughs> yeah, so that's the end of this ritual. Yeah. So in, in general, general, so you need to learn the death posture. Some, some part of our areas maybe 
too much make noise in there, not good, right? <laughs> and they will complain or something. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's not necessary. But when you're able to do it, so don't use don't use like this. Like many people do this. Don't don't use this way. So only two how the finger. It, it's possible. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. So they, they have a way to learn trick like this. Yeah. If you learn this, it will help the later to use the this one. Yeah. Yeah. If you learn this. If you're used to it then it become like a little bit easier to use this. Yeah. So, example like a wet uh, blushing part. Usually, when we see like a example like this, it's wet, right? Usually, we see like uh, somebody's, yeah, somebody doing like this, right? It's actually not, 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 not uh, how to say, just uh, how to say, sprinkle the water. See, kind of like a doing like this. So it's, uh, you know, the Tibetan alphabet cha. Tibetan alphabet cha. Do you know the alphabet cha? Yeah. It, it, kind of no, right? So kind of like a, like this. Cha. So usually when we do like this. So quite often we, we didn't see it because it is very fast, right? On the garment, I'm gonna learn on the very short version, something like that. Yeah. So, usually, they do like this. That's the one part. Look at the last time. Look at the last time. What, what else we left? <laughs> that, that's the that's basic, yeah, that's basic, yeah. So yeah, so basically you need to know you should not how to say it. yeah move you should not move this how to call I don't know yeah yeah you have to always like that when you do the mudra and how to say it. basic uh, rule is how to say <laughs> how to say from from this part right and then. Always we do how to say like like a uh, ring at the heart, yeah. yeah, yeah, and then when you ring the bells, always like that, and the number is how to say at level your navel, your, yeah, uh, navel, and number you should not move like this. <laughs> That's the basic. And then now often you have to offer how to say it. That's it. So but you know offering uh, in the space above, yeah. Yeah, yeah not not this way. This way yeah. only only when we offer the local babies or landlord or something that the ritual they have a different you know offering. So beginning with the guru lineage. That we offer on the crown. You, you might seen before. You might seen before like that often. Some ritual they do like this, and then later on it's like this, and later on like this, and then later on like this. You might see. Anybody understand? So some people. Might say that those mudra is not important or something like that, but it, I think it's important. It, it's not just like a how to call, how to, how to call like that, like a, uh, I don't know, how to say Broadway show. It's not like <laughs> that Broadway show. 
everything they have some kind of uh, how to say symbol line. Even when we do like this, right? Beginning with this, this we have to imagine all the how to, uh, often babies come out from your heart and they make the offering to the whatever you are going to offer the babies or gurus or whatever. And then you know the offering that inside to dissolve back to the, your heart. It's, they, they said it's a uh, how to say a tendency to it. No. 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 So it creates a positive imprint of Tibetan arising. Later, you can open the uh, central channels. Mm -hmm. so, no. so I mean, like, it's just like, a, even though you don't, it's, even though you don't have the actual objects, the uh, ritual objects, it's okay. You can just do with your hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, so, so that's it for the basics, huh? Ritual one on one. So, any questions? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Toma already. Okay, mm -hmm. there we go. I'm confused about the Torma. Mm -hmm. When you offer the Torma, I don't have a Torma. Yeah, it's uh, if you if you how to say if you prepare Torma, that's good. If you not necessary, the Torma means like a what traditional we make. It is not necessary. Example, like when we do this ritual, if we possible, we we should make Toma like uh, last time we did. If it is not possible, you can offer any like a fruit, cookie, cake, those things, and uh, try to make like a one big one. It's a main poem. Example, like, uh, okay, one, one big watermelon. Okay. And then uh, try to put at least two uh, small things. So uh, main, main for the main deity, how to say, uh, deities. Mm -hmm. And then one for the, the protector, and one for the landlord uh, deities. And try to uh, put, if, uh, if possible, try to put the two offering, how to say, like an argon body, two different offering, uh, uh, how to say, offering. So uh, I think you guys use uh, those uh, water balls so that you can make it possible, like an argon body, both. That water and Kuzi is uh, flower and Kuzi is incense. Usually, we put the rice and put stick on the incense and then the uh, how to say, like a candle, next one is candle. Then again, one water bowl, then uh, kind of a food or cookies or something that to uh, the offering and then the. On music, we don't need any more. Uh, 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 bell or this to the hand of that. So it's not necessary to have a how to be how is our traditional way to make the trauma. It's just uh, always not possible. Always sometimes we cannot do. It. So, mm -hmm. 
And sometimes I feel like, uh, you know, the actual food is much, uh, feel better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, toma, whatever make, we make the toma, it's made by sambar, butter, sugar, and they have a certain uh, things we need to put it. But that we cannot eat. We don't eat. Whatever we offer, like a cake or food or those things, we can share too, right? After often we can eat. Um. I, a teacher once uh, told a story about the meaning of these offerings by telling the story of a person walking to someone's house. Do you know the story? It, it's an easy way to remember the offerings. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. The, I think Michelle is saying, uh, as I've explained, that you know, in India, when you go visit someone in yeah, the yeah, house, yeah. They, they'd make offerings to an honored guest like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a kind of like a came from India, and they visit, wash the feet, offer, drink the water, and then uh, burning the incense and flowers, and so, sort of like that simple food. So, we making the three or four different water bowls, all of them not for drink. The one is for uh, kind of like a, how to say? Wash the feed. Clean. Yeah. And yeah, and some of them for, for, for drink, some of them uh, mingle together. Yeah. So for someone, I mean, just for, yeah. It's a cooling effect, just put the water at the hot chest. Yeah. So lamps for eye, the food open to get to the house to head. So, yeah, it's, it's those cro cross bronze to the five senses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think one is the back. Could you please repeat the mudra that you were saying to do while uh, reciting the mantra? You said to do it three times, but I missed sort of what that was or how to do that. Toma offering, right? Uh, I think so. I, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a just uh, the lotus posture, right? And then how to say this gesture or often like a it's, it's kind of like a dharma holding like this <laughs> to to the day. So it sometimes you see when the when the monastery or the some people who use this is doing like this very quick like this. Usually, I don't know why, when the Toma the ritual, most of the time in monasteries, we recite very fast. So they have no time to do all, how to say, completely, so very fast. So they, every ritual, like it, even though, how to call it, uh, how to say, so all day in, in, in part of the day ritual they have a trauma uh, offering for the lady or sometimes uh, protector so i don't know why this usually we recite pretty fast sometimes we can hear only <laughs> it's an Indian language, it is kind of like a color also. Yes, sir. So just like, it just, I mean, it's, it's a big banquet and just I have to just see, I don't know, here and it, it is like, maybe, <laughs> yeah, just, how do you say, eat, eat? Yeah. Can you explain uh, the symbolism on the Damaru? 
Damaru symbolizes the uh, igniting the tumu, which is the inner fire. Inner fire, yeah. So it it will like ignite. It is a cause to ignite the uh, tumu, which means the inner fire. It's like kundil, uh, kundalini. I mean, in the Hindu traditions, it's a like kundalini. Yeah. Yeah, when we didn't attend, pay attention, seems like a, it's kind of like a custom or traditional or something. But uh, when you try to figure out, pretty much all of them have a, some kind of how to symbolize so all the rituals and mudras and dogmas and all, all, almost every part of those uh, have uh, some kind of uh, specific symbol. Um, my question is um, the visualization of the red meats and the nectar in the skull. Is it transformed like a crock pot? Is it heated up really fast, or is it something different than that? When I think about it, I think about a crock pot heating it up really fast and it turns into nectar. Is that? Yeah. I, I'm sorry, like that. Uh, I was visually visualizing the transformation of the five meats into vector into nectar. Is it like putting food in a crock pot and it's heated up and transformed? Oh, okay. Oh, the shanga dzinga yomare. Shanga the dzinga. Shanga the dzinga landa upi kare the nejes na shanga lo dzinga lo ani tisha kuvu dohre lo sa. So when we say like a uh, in earlier we mentioned that uh, five meats, five different kinds of meats, symbolize five Buddha family, such as like Amitai, uh, uh, Amitabha, and so forth. So five meat, there's a particular five meat that's corresponding to each of those. So we we put, I mean, in this whole visualizing pro, like process, uh, in the uh, the Ramji has this the uh, the container, the inner offering. So it has this meaning. You put the five meat and the five nectar and the bless and of the whole process generating and the blessings. Yeah. yeah. The meats don't turn into nectars. Those are different. The meat and nectars. Yes, meat yeah. and nectars. Different, yeah. different. Yeah. And the five nectars symbolize the five different concepts. Yeah. The five Buddha family corresponding by Buddha family and the five mothers corresponding to the five Buddha family, right? So like a five male, five female, five meat, five neck, five nectars. So like in the whole process, they all put in the Kabbalah, but this is a whole different concept. Like it just is a whole four different stages. You put all those substance inside the Kabbalah and later the inner like the Rumbashi will ex uh, the I think Rumbashi uh, in the one of the earlier mentioned that we put everything and then bless Omaho and so there's a whole like, ex extensive process the inner offering mm -hmm. I think we did it uh, yeah really. yeah some people uh even even I used to confuse. Why five? <laughs> in in reality, those five meat 
impossible. Or, or you can uh, uh, recite uh, the, uh, the how to put the ritual. And we get so this the inner offerings right inner offering is a, it has like the four different sections so when we speak of the five meat but it, like it's like we can be like vulnerable in terms of like get confused and get misunderstand right and all practically also it's not a possible like it's not like a bring all the five meat but all those through a thought process visualizations so there's a particular when earlier when we mentioned about the particular meat for examples uh like a car transforms into the cow cow meat like a full cow then like a kuta it's like next is the uh dog then follows with the horse and the human crops and so, like so each of those meat corresponds with the energy element of the Buddha family. And those energy elements symbolize uh, like a different things, it's a symbolic meanings. But all those not the actual, actual meat, but thought process generating. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'd like to think Rinpoche driving up from Oakland and uh, I'd like to thank Tsering for coming, translating again, and uh, Alex for driving. So uh, now I feel it's very auspicious that I feel people are mature enough in the Sangha that taking refuge, following the precepts, you know, generating bodhicitta, and then having a pure view toward our Vajra brothers and sisters and our lamas. So then we're really doing it, okay? So uh, you know, the mudras and the rituals are important. Like if you went over to someone's house for dinner and they were just sitting there and you said, oh, oh, has anything started yet? No, just look in the refrigerator, you know? <laughs> so if you want to make dinner for someone, you always put out nice things and you create a nice atmosphere. It's a ritual, right? So we're creating this kind of nice atmosphere. So I'm glad um, the recording actually worked, right? <laughs> but the lens cap was off, right? You know? <laughs> We've had trouble. Yeah, so that, that's good. Uh, so uh, and later, uh, Rimshi consented to come back to do a six session go over, right? So that would be very special. Um, I'm just delighted. Uh, Rimshi's health is good and he's available and um, he knows us really well. So uh, we're going to let him get on his way soon. But uh, let's have a cut offering too. And um, I know. 
Shiva. So your compassion refers to the method. When we say method, it refers to compassion. Mm. So this represents the union of inseparable union of compassion and the wisdom. Mm. So sometimes the uh, like uh, some ritual begins with the blessing for the bell and the wisdom, bell and the vajra. Mm. So not all ritual has this uh, blessing part. So, like, uh, if you look at the uh, Rupeshi's uh, table, ritual table, the how it was arranged, this the arrange is made in accordance with the uh, other yoga tantra uh, traditions. So, as Rupeshi earlier mentioned, like, uh, if it's not under yoga tantra, you don't need all of those. But if it's under yoga tantra, then the like uh, uh, from the right hand side, which uh, if you're right, so uh, goes with the the dam or the damarupas. Mm. Then follows right to the left. It's a abdra damaru follows the bell. Then vajra. So some people get confused the placement. They because like uh, the Abdul Damaru is a bell, then Wajra, right? Some people like uh, switch the position because it's inconvenient. But rather it's a meaning to like a uh, bell and water because when you pick it's a force to get across. Cross implies the union. So then, after the Awajra, next is uh, it's called inner offering. And this uh, the, the vessel, the, it's the Kabbalah, it's inside Kabbalah, it's an inner offering. And that particularly exclusive to Adi Yoga Tantra. Mm -hmm. So, the inner offering in the, uh, the, the substance for inner offering, either it could be a tea or wine. But according to a Gilupa tradition, which is ours, we prefer to put uh, a tea than wine because wine doesn't, 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 it, no, wine looks odd for monastic community to have wine, right? So we prefer in our, in our tradition, we put the uh, tea. Mm. So the most important thing is like a, just uh, one should have a dzirubu, it's a peel, less peel, it's particular less peel, and that dzirubu, that Blessed peel must have a, a, a authentic or source of lineage. Mm -hmm. So for the inner offering, the most important is the inner offering, but 
irrespective of the container what you have. So the the more more elaborated its container, it's the it's as, as it displays, it's like kapala, it's more elaborated. But you don't have to have such a uh, vessel. Rather, you can simply have a plastic a small bottle. Yeah, like with, like this. This is my uh, regular kapala. Yeah. Yeah. So like uh, the most important thing is like uh, Rumbuji has this Rumbuji got this uh, precious pill, which has the Guzujibu, which has that has a genuine authentic source. Uh, so you just yeah, if you have to put that's the most important thing, put it in that container and with the tea. Then the Karsi Kapala is a chunu so the last is a uh, uh, kadara. It's a container where one can keep the, the grains, like it could be rice or some other grains. So then, if you have like a vase for the blessing vase, water vase. So right now we don't have water vase, but if you have, it goes followed. From like a more far left and stuff, ways, mm -hmm. consecrated ways. So, this is uh, like a general presentation how, how, how one sets the, uh, those ritual objects. So, for the two lower uh, tantra classes, you don't need that. Uh, Dhamma room and in the offering. Mm. So for the two lower classes, particularly like a uh, um, action tantra, usually done it's consecrated through waterways. So for the lower classes, if it's uh, consecrated through ways, then there's a particular ritual. Excuse me. First, one needs to uh, consecrate the water ways first. Then that after consecrating the water ways, it can do the blessings. In a similar way, for the uh, uh, like a highest yoga tantra, and yoga tantra, so mostly it was blessed through the inner offering. Therefore, before the ritual, like a uh, actual ritual, uh, there is a earlier part, like a way. Uh, there's a part where it blessed the inner work, inner offering first. Mm. So in order to do the blessing for the inner offerings, first of all, the one who bless needs to be generated into the uh, 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 a divine uh, deity. So therefore, there's this uh, in the ritual, it's called instantaneously arise oneself into the deity. Mm -hmm. So technically, like uh, the, according to the text, uh, the substance for the inner offering has to be five, uh, five, uh, five leads, five different leads with the five different um nectars so but in reality it means five meat refers to the five uh buddha family and the five nectars for nectars refers to the concept of the each of uh the five buddha families mm -hmm. So, 
So, so like when it begins, like a right hand holds the uh, Vajra and left hand holds the Bell. So, like uh, some rituals where it begins with the blessing, the Bell and the Vajra and the Bell. But whereas here in this particular Satna, uh, it doesn't have that part where it needs to be blessed. Uh, so uh like uh, uh in in general so like uh, usually like uh, when you hold the bell with your left hand and pulse at your heart heart and then you ring the bell <laughs> so someone like a host at the bar, when you say a bar left or at the knee position, those one should not do such thing. Like a technically it has to host at your close to your heart, then you gently uh, ring the bell. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, like I said, so, so due to like a physical uh, different pop, like a variation, you get as as comfortable as for you, just close and like a approximately to your heart, okay? Then you just softly, gently like a ring the bell. So, you, like, uh, hold the bell with your thumb and the ring finger and the middle finger, right? So, it, it, it will be like, your hand portion will be similar to something like this, right? So, you use the screen. Maybe touch the little hand, it's okay like this. But some people do like this. Yeah, yeah you can do like this. This can hold it. And don't, don't, don't hold it, like too much, yeah, so very gentle. Yeah. Then, then Damaru, right? So Damaru is supposed to be... Damaru is supposed to be whole with the Vajra and Damaru both, right? In the beginning may be a little bit difficult. And when you use the Damaru, some people use it like this, right? It says you cannot, uh, how to say it? Like a dome to like a swing your uh, wrist. Yeah. Rather use like a the, uh, First index finger and the thumb. Then can see, chumba ina. Teve thumb to so damaru de. Teva ke thumb. Na ben na damaru de. So technically, it says like uh, as if you are jamming this bell at your navel, but like a uh, maybe like a. First of all, beginner, you can just like uh, start somewhere around here, then gradually like uh, lower down, uh, like uh, approximately to your like uh, navel, like your foot. And it's wide navel, it symbolizes you are like uh, igniting the inner heat which locates approximately to your navel. So when you do the uh, hand posture, hand posture, hand posture, hand mudra, don't like a don't swing both the arms, right? <laughs> yeah, so some people do like this. Uh, you cannot. It's not proper with the So it's simple. Yes, how to? I, I don't know how to yeah. describe. 
that's that's like a how to call it? That's like a regular normal. So you should just use uh, the posture from here, right? not this this part. You can do this. You cannot do this. <laughs> Yeah. No dance. No dance. Yeah. Yeah. In general, it's a little bit hard. In general, what, what they describe, we call the, how do you say, backward one of the So, it's like a uh, turning of a, a lotus. Yeah. So, it, this, this one called the backward, right? Supposed to be, how do you say, like a, this part, Supposed to be moved. Only like a, so supposed to be you should move with your tip of the fingers, right? Yeah. Not the whole hand or whole wrist, right? Yeah. It's, it's, a, like a yeah it, it's a little bit hard. So maybe some uh, you guys have a very flexible finger, maybe possible. So in general, like, like the, how to say the pekul, right? Pekul, pekul means how to turning uh, the lotus, lotus uh, posture, right? So it's like, like, like this way. Yeah, it's kind of like a simply go down and come back. So that's called the pekul. This, this posture uh, you have to use quite often before the actual mudra and after the. Mudra or something, every ritual yeah, you have to use it. So with the with the with the and the how to say bell. So example like offering, right? When we we offer the example like a thara, um ayata is the mare mare ar kam padi type so right. So beginning we do like how to say this. This outside. Yes, now then we this that posture. And then do the actual of uh, uh, uh mudra. So agam mudra is like this, right? Yeah, it's just uh example. Right? And then end is the how is it inside color yeah. yeah. So at the end snap inside in towards you. Yeah. Towards you. When you begin, snap outside. Yeah. Like outward. Be begin like this, right? And, and this way. So it's the symbol color. Like Chevel Hamu, Nikan and Hangi, Nikan and Chevel Hamu, Majuni, Chevel Hamu, Chevel Hamu, Chevel Hamu. So the symbolic meaning of like a snap outward, you are uh, this ritual begins, you are you're visualizing that inner offering goddesses, inner emanating. Chevel Hamu. No, like uh, offering goddesses. Offering goddesses are emanating from your heart. They're coming from your heart. So you just like it, you snap out. Right? So when when the offering is finished, you, you snap in back, right? So you are dissolving those offering goddesses that you have emanated, they're coming back to you. They are called long omatsu duty. Long omatsu duty jagi. Them they don't use some of that. So it has some symbolic meaning of like a planting the uh, dependent origination seed way down the road can ignite the middle channel, middle channel as the opening. Had the neck, right? Chitam chin and nanchu, nanchu tambo mazu, nanchu. So here uh, in our text, I mean, I use text, there's a, it begins with also like a first blessing the inner offerings. So for the Jenna do it, Jenna Melda. And the Melda, yeah. I'm sorry, like a. The Indian Nia was the term. The Tambo Gorangi, Taji, Rigua. 
for what? Yeah, usually it's beginning with the inner open blessing for this ritual. Yeah, so it doesn't have this one like a, uh, so for example, for the Yamantaka, it has Yamantaka. So a point here is some ritual begins with the blessing, the inner offering, so this is Yamantaka. So for this, in such case, um, like a, you just simply, if you have a, such a container, Kapala, so you just like a, open it and put on the side. Yeah, you place like this. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Uh, then you bless. Once your blessing is done, then in the follow of blessings, so like a way inner offering can bless the other. Uh, so use with the ring finger to be blessed. Mm. So, so she says that now, like it just we uh, first with, yeah, it has, she says it has the uh, our text, it has the uh, blessing, the inner offerings, like uh, first generating oneself into the deity, uh, first beginning with the refuge, refuge in the bodhicitta. Uh, then the mantra is the generating oneself into the deity. And uh, and Yeah. Then it has the uh, follow with the uh, blessing the uh, inner offering. Yes. So up to like I mean uh, first when you reach the point where you need to bless the uh, inner offering, then open the cap of the kapala. So if you look at the page five. Uh, at the um, at the uh, at the end, like almost end of the page five. Blessing the outer offering. Right? Yeah. That so that mantra um agam um body um that's not actual offering. It's the uh, how is that blessing for the offer, offer or offering, offering right? Yes. So that times we have to do the mudras. Just no need to do the how is that posture. Just do that. Agam, Pade, Pube, Zuba. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go through, okay? Um Agam, Ahum, this. Um Agam, Ahum. Um Pade, Ahum. Um Pube, Ahum. Um Zuba, Ahum. Um Aluge, Ahum. Um Gende, Ahum. Um Nyunde, Ahum. Um shabda, um, if you have a the uh, bell shabda, you have to uh, the use the bell. If you don't have a bell, you can get how to say you you can just do like Agam, Pade, Pube, Zube, Aluge, Gende, Nyonde, Shabda. It's kind of like that. <laughs> you you the it. Most, most of the ritual, example, like a, most of the almost like a 90% of the high yoga centers, the Agam Puja books are pretty much similar. So you should know Agam like this Agam, Pade, then Pube, Pube. It's kind of like a flower symbol. And Dubi is like an incense symbol. So incense usually like something like this, like incense. You some of you may see when we Chopakun San should be this very big. 
So when we arrange the Samantha Bhattara offering, so like incense, we usually put in a cross. So it's a drupe, right? Drupe. So I'll, I'll give the kind, kind of symbol of uh, water lamp. Then, then Gente. Gente, they have uh, several different. So I think you should, which one either you can do this way or this way. And usually I do like this. Then New Day is kind of like a photo offering. Then sharp side is like. Everybody get it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can, can we try to do together? Okay. Om Adam Adam Om Bade Adam Om Bede Adam Om Bede Adam Om Alude Adam Om Yede Adam Om Yonde Adam Om Shada It's pretty much the law tender box, they have a little bit different. So I don't want to say you guys <laughs> they may be confused. But if it, not not a big difference. Some 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 of them different, like uh Aluki highs so we do that and we uh, lower we do like this, so it's a little bit different. Do you raise one, huh? Mm -hmm. Tell you outer offering to self generation. This I'll give you a few years, right? The next one is out, outer offering to the self generation. That's the actual offering. So that we need to do that is how to say. Snap out, and then we do the how to go. Loading posture. I did. Then. Like a Chuba did the Homo Abba, Adam like Homo Abba, and then I did an Asabari or a R from Badi. Homo Abba and then I did an Asabari or a Badi. Do it? Yeah. Okay. So first, first need to learn that to do the bit. Lotus posture. Do you know this? This raising. Should not first this way. Always like this. Yeah. Snap. It's not necessary to snap uh, how it's uh, very uh, <laughs> out loud. Just simple. Argon, right? Argon. So, so if you doing by yourself, they have time. If you together like a monastery or something, you have to do very far. They, they decide to be the part, right? If you say yourself, you have time. So So with the practice, it will come. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can, you guys can do uh, together once a while. You know, sit together, and I, I'm sure some people are better than others, and so people who learn faster, they can read and help others. Then in our offering, right? In our offering, we already opened this one, right? So Oma Apa remains the eyes and the suffering when I Oma for that in offering. 
recitation. So, so, if you are able to touch the, the, the how is it, lecture or alcohol, if you are able to touch, that's good, but it's not necessary to touch the, uh, how to say, lecture or alcohol. You just do the gesture. Yeah. So, some, you might seen or in future you might see some people do like this like a, try to ring the bell but um, all, all of uh, the most of how to say our lineage they didn't how to say they they, they, they not try to get any sound from the bell just, just like this and uh, this has to be offered how to call announcement. Yeah. So offering in the space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is some point where, like, uh, when you're offering uh, the inner offerings to the, uh, like, uh, different, uh, like, uh, objects of offerings, such as for your guru offering, like, a pulse from the crown of your head, the meditation of deity from your forehead, from the Dhamma Pradipas, from the heart, and the local spirit, spirit, then below your knees yeah so there are different positions that represent the different high hierarchy of the offerings so those are like exclusive to more like a, uh, extensive rituals corresponding to uh, Yamataka or Bhisamaja or Hiruka Chagasambhava, so those are yeah, more very extensive uh, rituals. But you are the Tuvajitua. Next, the priests, right? Mm -hmm. Priests, uh, usually they have uh, one uh, worship, right? So they have a uh, mudra too. So first line, we, how to say? We, we do like this first line. This. Then second line, we, uh, we ring the bell. And third line, we do the gesture lotus posture. And fourth line, we do the how to call bow, bow mudra. I don't know how, how do you do it. Let's call this one mudra. Chao, 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 you know? Prostration. Prostration mudra. So that quite often you see the prayers. So when they have a prostration or trees or something, first line you always use like this, like this. This mudra is a general understanding is like a kind of like inviting. Yeah, when they have inno innovation or something, or no. innovation or something, it's uh, doing mudra like this is the symbol. I think it's a symbol of uh, burning incense like this <laughs> and then second line ring the bell and third line do the little uh, posture and fourth line we do the position uh mudra so example like here right amitayu principal guide of the world destroyer of all the consequences without the truth refuge of the world suffering without the protection to you with the amitayu i call Everybody get it, right? And then you are not at it in your. Some last night, 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 some
So like an asphalt with the residential manta, you just put the well water on the table and you can have your uh, mala or rosary in your hand. Mm -hmm. So here in the text, then follow up, then get the making torma offerings. So before we make the Dharma offerings, first we bless the Dharma and then uh, how to bless the Dharma again with the inner offerings. Recite the mantra with the inner offerings and bless the Dharma. Tadi Toma Mune Fia the Mother Word if you would give it. Um Abar and the I then us Sabare or Indambale in the Kata Kaya Kai Tedra. No. So actual offerings, like a uh, Toma offerings so on the page uh, eight, then on like a, this is the mantra is the on Aparami Ayu Jana Sabare Varai. In the Balakai Kai. so since it's like we this offering with the three times so again the beginning with the um beginning with the uh, uh like a lottery posture and then make the offering and uh, uh yeah then the snap in right snap in so you need to do this three times so, i mean we like since like we we can go we we should do slowly once you get but once you get all those right, then you can speed up. So this the whole thing is the uh, it's like a first you emanate the uh, offering goddesses, and with those have the offering goddesses, you make this. The, like a Dharma offering, with, you make offer to Amitayus. After making uh, offering, then you just uh, all those offering goddesses dissolve back to you. So then follow with the uh, offering. So same as before, like it's just uh, like emanating the offering the goddesses. With them, we make the like the census offering corresponding to each of them. At the end, then you just snap in, snap back in. So next again, in the offering, then next again, the priest, then first line, how did they kind of end the thinking and second line, like a, ring the bell, third line to the death posture, and fourth line to the procession capture. So, 
So that's the end of the. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we chose the end, right? Yeah. So the standard is we chose. Yeah. So and, and that, that general general so you need to learn the depth posture. So if, if, if you you can you can learn slowly there. If just do this. Kind kind of like this. Like a left, right, and then come back. Yeah, some people how to say I know this. Some the people fingers are very flexible, they do it very beautiful. Yeah. I, I, I not like this, but you're supposed to do like this. Yeah. And Damaru Damaru is is not how to say. Maybe they use it when we ring the bell on my other men I and somebody will shut the last that one. We're supposed to ring and we how to live together, like um, our men, I and the Sabari were shout uh, for this time. Uh, so it's not necessary to, uh, how to say, use uh, all the time. <laughs> some some part of uh, our area, maybe too much make noise, maybe not good, right? <laughs> Naval company or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's not necessary, but when you're able to do it, so don't use, don't use like this. Like many people do this, so don't, don't use this way. So only to how it's finger. It, it's possible. Yeah, like this. Yeah. So they, they have a way to learn trick like this. Yeah. If you learn this, it will help you later to use the this one. Yeah. Yeah. If you learn this, if you used to it, then it becomes like a little bit easier to use this. Yeah. So, example like a West uh, blessing part. Usually, when we see like a example like this is West, right? Usually, we see like uh, somebody's, yeah, somebody doing like this, right? Mm -hmm. It's actually not, 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 not how to say, just uh, how to say, friend of the water. They kind of like a Doing like this, so it's uh, you know the Tibetan alphabet cha. Tibetan alphabet cha. Do you know yep. the alphabet cha? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of no, right? So kind of like a like this. Yeah. Cha. So you, usually when you do like this, so quite often you we didn't see it because it's very fast, right? Like on the arm is up on the hand of the very short version, something like that. So usually they do like a cha. That's one part. And I got a last one. I got a last What What else we left? <laughs> that, that, that's just basic. Yeah, just basic, yeah. So yeah, so basically you need to know you should not how to say yeah move you should not move this how to call I don't know yeah yeah you have to always like that when you do the boat trap and how is it basic uh, rule is how to say <laughs> how to say from from this part right and then. Always we do how to say like like a kind of nige teras at your heart yeah. yeah yeah and then when you ring bells always like that and the damarus how to say level, level of your uh, navel and 
Gamal, you should not move like this. <laughs> That's the basic. And then in our opinions, you have to offer how to say. So, but you know, offering in the space above. Yeah, yeah not, not this way. This way only, only when you offer the local babies or landlord or something that uh, we should have a different, you know, offering. So beginning with the guru's language that we offer on the crown. So you, you might have seen before. You might see before like that often some ritual they do like this and then later on like this and later on like this and then later on like this. You might see before that. So some people might say there's no mudra is not important or something like that, but it, I think it's important. It's, it's not just like a, how to call, uh, how to, how to call like a, just like a, uh, how to say Broadway show. It's not like just Broadway show. Everything they have some kind of just, uh, how to say, symbol line. Even when we do like this, right? Beginning with this, this, we have to imagine all the how to, uh, offering babies came out from your heart and they make the offering to the whatever you are going to offer the babies or gurus or whatever. And then, you know, the offering snap inside to dissolve back to the, your heart. It, they, they, they said it's uh, how to say. Ah, ten days ago, they used to call it. No, 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 no. So it creates a positive imprint of that in the IC. Later, you can open the uh, central channels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what? 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 So, even though you don't have the actual objects, the uh, ritual objects, it's okay. You can just do with your hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, so that's it for the basics, huh? Ritual one on one. <laughs> so, so, any questions? I didn't have one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm confused about the Thoma. When you offer the Thoma, start over, please. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm confused Could about you turn the mic on, please? When you offer the Thoma. Yeah, Thoma over on the side. Okay. There we go. I'm confused about the Thoma. Mm -hmm. When you offer the Thoma, I don't have a Thoma. Yeah, it's... Uh, if you, if you, how to say, if you prepare Thoma, that's good. It is not necessary the Thoma means like a, what traditional we make. It is not necessary. Example, like when we do this ritual, if we possible, we, we should make Thoma like uh, last time we did. If it is not possible, you can offer any like a fruit, cookie, cakes, those things. Then uh, try to make like a one big one is a main toma. Example like a, okay, one one big go out of the bin. Okay. And then uh, try to put at least two uh, small things. To so one main main for the main deity, how to say uh, deities, mm -hmm. and then one for the, the protector, and one for the landlord uh, deities, and try to uh, put if if possible try to put the two offering 
how to say like a algam body two different offering uh, uh, how to call offering so uh, I think you guys use uh, those uh, water bowl mm -hmm. so that you can make it possible like a algam body both get water and fuji is uh, flour and those is incense you usually we cook the rice and put stick on the incense and then the uh, how to say like a candle make one candle then again one water bowl then uh, the kind of like fruits or cookies or something that for uh, uh, the food offering and then the uh, music we don't need any uh, bowl just uh, music uh, the bell or just do the hand music so it's not necessary to have a how to to how to say our traditional way to make the trauma it's just uh, always not possible always sometimes you cannot do it so, so mm -hmm. and sometimes I feel like uh, you know that actual food is much uh, feel better mm -hmm. yeah toma whatever make we make the toma is made by samba butter sugar and they have a certain uh, thing we need to cook it but that we cannot eat we don't eat whatever we offer, like a cake or fruit or those things. We can share too. Right? After offering, we can. Um, I a teacher once uh, told a story about the meaning of the offering by telling the story of a person walked into someone's house. Do you know the story? It, it's an easy way to remember the offerings. Yeah. I think the child thing, uh, if I've explained that, you know, in India, when you go visit some of the yeah, towns, yeah. They, they make offerings to an honor guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a kind of like a came from India. When they visit, wash the feet, offer drink the waters, and then uh, burning the incense and flowers and so sort of like that simple stuff. So we making the three or four different water bowls. All of them not for drink. So one is for kind of like a how to say wash the feet, clean, and. Yeah, and some of them for, for, for drink, some of them for the legal trade or merchandise. So, for someone, I'm mean just for, yeah, it's a cooling effect, just put the water in the chest. Yeah. So, lamps for eyes, the food offering you get for a whole taste. Yeah. And it's it's those like cross, cross things to the five senses. Mm -hmm. The one is the back. Could you please repeat the mudra that you were saying to do while uh, reciting the mantra? You said to do it three times. Did I miss sort of what that was well, or how to do that? Tom offering, right? Uh, I think so. I, yeah. yeah. That's one. And repeat three times. It is kind of like a, just uh, the lotus posture, right? And then, how to say, just gesture of offering like a, it's, it's kind of like a trauma holding like this. <laughs> To, to the lady. So it sometimes you see when the when the monastery or the some people who used to do doing that very quick like oh, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, I'm like, usually I don't know why when the Toma the ritual most of the time 
in monastery is visit very fast. So they have no time for do all, how to say, completely. So very fast. So the every ritual like even in the how to call it, uh, how to say, ninja man, how to say, whether you be or Yamataka or Hiruka or the sound work, I go. We are Samaja. We are Samaja. So all they, in, in, in part of the real ritual, they have a, a Toma offering for the needs or sometimes uh, protecting. So I don't know why, they, usually we decide to feel fast. Sometimes we can hear only kaka kai kai, kaka kai kai. <laughs> it's an Indian language, it's kind of like a color that just chu 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 So just like, just, I mean, it's it's a big banquet, it's just a half, they just need, I don't know, I'm here, and it is like maybe, yeah, yeah, just, I would say eat, eat. Yeah. Can you explain the symbolism on the Damaru? Damaru is Tumku Damaru symbolizes the uh, igniting the Tumu, which is the inner fire. Tumuku inner fire, yeah. yeah. Tumuku yeah. So it, it will like ignite, it is a cause to ignite the Tumu, which means the inner fire. Mm -hmm. It's like Kunjun, uh, Kunjuniri. I mean, it's in the Eastern traditions, it's like Kunjuniri. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, when we begin to atten pay attention, seems like it's kind of like a custom or traditional or something, but when you try to figure out, pretty much all of them have some kind of how to symbolize. To the, all the rituals, the mudras, and tomas, and all, all, almost every part of those uh, has uh, some kind of uh, specific symbol. Like um, my question is um, the visualization of the dead meat. And the nectar in the skull, is it transformed like a crock pot? Or is it heated up really fast or is it just something different than it? When I think about it, I think about a crock pot heating it up really fast and it turns into nectar. Is that? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Uh, I was visually visualizing the transformation of the five meats into, ne into nectar. Is it like putting food in a crock pot and it's heated up oh. and transformed? Oh, okay. Oh. So when we say like uh earlier we mentioned that uh, five meats, five different kinds of meat symbolized by Buddha family, such as like Amitabha, uh, Amitabha and so forth. So five meat, there's a particular five meat that's corresponding to each of those. So we, we but I mean, in this whole visualizing pro, like, process, uh, in the, uh, the which has this, the, uh, the container that in the offering, so it has this meaning you put the five meat and the five nectar and the bless and the, the whole process generating and the blessings. Mm. Yeah. yeah. 
The meats don't turn into nectars. Those are different. The meat and the fruit. Yes, meat and nectar. And the five nectars symbolize the five different concepts. Yeah. Five with the family, corresponding five with the family, and the five mothers corresponding to the five with the family, right? So like a five male, five female, five me, five nectar, five nectars. Mm -hmm. So like in the whole process, they all put in the Kabbalah. But this is a whole different concept. Like this is a whole four different stages. You put all those substance inside the Kabbalah. And later the inner, if the Rupesha will explain. The, I think Rupesha, in the, one of the earlier mentioned that we put everything and then bless Omar Hawaiian. So this whole like, ex extensive process, the inner offering. I think we get it. Uh, yeah. yeah, some people, uh, even even I used to confuse. Why is five meat? <laughs> in, in reality, those five meat are impossible. What you can uh, recite the, uh, the how you put that ritual. Um, that, uh, So this the inner offerings, right? Inner offering is a, it has like the four different sections. So when we speak of the by meat, but it, like it's like it, we can be like vulnerable in terms of like get confused or get misunderstand, right? And all practically also it's not possible. Like it's not like a bring all the five meat, but all those through thought process visualizations. So there's a particular when earlier when we mentioned about particular meat for examples. Uh, like a, a cow transforms into the cow, cow meat, like a full cow. Then like a kuta, it's like next is the uh, dog. Then follows with the horse and the human crops. It's like a, so. Each of those meat corresponds with the energy element of the Buddha family. And those energy elements symbolize uh, like a different things, it's a symbolic meanings. But all those not the actual, actual meat, but thought process generated. Hmm. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah.